Right, Philip, please. Where's Tanya Mathias? No. She's in the Saxon seconds. She's told I have now, so she should be finished. Right, okay. Right, Philip. Um, an application about International Men's Day. Yes, in, indeed, Mr Chairman. My, my, uh, my pitch is a, is a fairly straightforward one uh, in the sense that uh, every year since I can remember, certainly since I've been a member of this House, uh, which is uh, ten years now, uh, we've had an, uh, an annual debate, and, and uh, in the last few years uh, this committee has granted one. In fact, I think I was on the committee uh, when it did grant um, the debate for International Women's Day. Uh, and, and that's been held every single year. And so I thought that in the spirit of gender equality, it would only be right uh, to, uh, to have a debate to commemorate International Men's Day, which conveniently, conveniently falls on uh, Thursday the 19th of November, which uh, is a date when you, you may or may not have some time to allocate, uh, so it will be very fitting. Um, because, of course, not only do, um, do we have International Women's Day, we also have women and equality questions every month in the Chamber, which we don't have for men. So the opportunity for men to raise issues that are important to them is very limited. And just to give you a flavour, Mr Chairman, of the type of things that may, may come up and which will be part of International Men's Day, I'm, I'm not entirely sure why it's so humorous, but to discuss issues such as men's shorter life expectancy, uh, wider male uh, health issues, many of which go uh, unreported be through embarrassment of, of men to sort of go along and talk about these things, uh, the high uh, suicide rate amongst men, the uh, propensity for violence against men, there's many male victims of domestic violence, again, are something that goes very much unreported because of lots of embarrassment about it, the underachievement of boys in education compared to uh, girls, uh, the issues around father-child relationships and, and often the, um, the, the way that uh, fathers sometimes feel they don't get a fair crack of the whip in terms of custody of ch their children and things like that. These are all issues that affect an awful lot of people around the country, uh, whether people agree with, with some people's views or, or not. I, I think it's important that uh, the House of Commons debates these issues. I think people can recognise that they are all very real issues for many people in the country. And so in the Spirit of gender equality, given that we have the debate each year on International Women's Day, which I suspect will continue under this uh, committee, I thought it would only be fair that we had an opportunity to debate these issues uh, under the flag of International Men's Day, which is this year on Thursday the 19th of November. Thank you very much. Questions? Jess? Uh, you have to excuse me for laughing that the idea that men don't have the opportunity to ask questions in this place is a frankly laughable thing as I say as this as the only woman on this committee it seems like every day to me is well I wasn't I wasn't making with respect, I wasn't making that point I wasn't no, making the point that what? men don't have an opportunity to ask I was about men's issues <laughs> There's a very big difference between but, men raising issues and the raising of men's issues. But one could raise men's issues in any single one of the question sessions. So your you, men's health, absolutely. So prostate cancer, that could be raised in men's questions, couldn't it? Well, that could I, be I raised very much, in their health I, I, questions. I, I, sorry. Mr. Chairman, I very much look forward to these arguments being deployed when we come to consider a debate on International Women's Day, because exactly the same arguments could be raised for International Women's Day that women's health issues, that equality issues could be raised in women and equality questions in other forms. So, uh, it, all I ask is for uh, an equal crack of the whip. That if, the, if those issues can be raised in without having a debate on International Men's Day, then obviously though, the same issues can apply for when, when it comes to International Women's Day. But those arguments have never won the day before this committee. I, I just think that it's worth pointing out the idea that this this chamber, that these houses, both of them. Uh, in any way reflect gender equality is frankly is to me a frankly laughable thing and so the, in the fight for equality I'm not sure the men on this list necessarily have that much to fight for Bob please yeah, you know, I, actually I, I can empathise with a lot of the issues that you're concerned about I mean I think like, many people would say that people don't talk about destitution testicular cancer or prostate cancer for fear of embarrassment. So that's quite clearly an issue that, that, that needs a lot more public debate. My concern 
is the balance of debate on the list of uh, potential speakers. All men. That, well, the fact that well, uh, the fact that they're all men doesn't doesn't matter so much. Uh, what does matter is that there doesn't seem to be a, a preponderance of people from across the House. They seem to be concentrated from the Conservative Party. Now, that either means that the Conservative Party clearly uh, take these issues seriously and the other parties don't, or more likely uh, that you haven't been able to gain people from the other parties that would sign up. I think, to be fair, Bob, that there are three members of the DUP. On from the, the DUP, I, yeah. I understand that, yeah. Well, uh, Mr Chairman, it's, it's, it's a fair point, and of course if, if, if um, I, I, I was made aware of this, the, this issue relatively recently, I raised it in the um, business questions with the, uh, and so really what that reflects is the number of people I managed to see in between business questions and having to get the form in on five o'clock on the, on the same day, and I would like to think that getting that many names in such a short period of time shows there's actually quite an appetite for a debate, and I'm sure I would be astonished if there were not uh, members from across the House who have constituents who are concerned about the issues that I've just raised. Philip, please. Yes, I mean, the, the points that uh, Ms Phillips has raised would contribute, no doubt, to the debate. Those who don't feel that men's issues uh, should be given an airing can put that point of view. And part of the point of this committee is to generate lively debates where people disagree with each other, not just a parade of people coming out with the same views all in agreement. So from that point of view, the, the controversial element of Mr Davies' application would, I thought, be quite attractive. But I wanted to ask Mr Davies whether he had asked the Leader of the House for time to debate this in government time, and what the response from the government was. Uh, yes, well indeed, and we've had a lively debate uh, here before the committee, which bodes well for a debate in the chamber, I would, I would uh, contend, uh, Mr Chairman. Um, I did ask for a debate, uh, and it's perfectly clear the government aren't going to give uh, any time for such a debate and feel that the appropriate vehicle for such a de debate would be the backbench business committee. A again, uh, I I it seems that the government's view is that given that it's this committee that allocates the time for International Women's Day debate, then this is the appropriate body that would consider an, a debate on International Men's Day. Okay, David, please. Uh, well, I was just going to raise that very point that uh, you mentioned in passing in answer to uh, the previous question from Jess about uh, that you'd asked the Leader of the House uh, for a debate in government time and been directed to this committee. Um, so moving on to the venue uh, for this debate, uh, as far as you are aware, um, where have previous debates on International Women's Day being held? Well, look, Mr Chairman, I, I, it's not for me to tell this committee where it should and shouldn't hold the debates for the time it gets allocated. That's a, that's a decision for you and, I, and I'll respect whatever decision that you, that you give. My, my pitch, uh, though, is that I just ask for parity with the, uh, what the committee does for International Women's Day. That's my, that's my pitch, that I see that the two go side by side and hand in hand and, and, and all I ask is for a, a, an even crack of the whip for, for both mm. of us. That's my, that's my pitch. But obviously I, I, I'm not coming here to, to demand a, you know, it's, it's, uh, all of that's up to, up to you. I, I, think, I, think the, I think the point that, um, that Bob made is, is, is very, very relevant and that, and that is that, that you have an, an application with support as um, numbered 1 to 13 um, Three of whom are from the DUP, and the the, the remaining <coughs> are from the Conservative Party. For them. so, therefore, you know, we are normally looking uh, when when we're granting time for debate. Uh, the, the, the normal criteria that we use is that there is cross-party support for the debate. So, what we would ask for, in pursuance of your application, that you try and get some members from other parties in order to sign up to the debate. Well, I'm, I'm prepared if, if uh, I don't know if this is seemly uh, at the committee, but I'm sure you'll rule me out of order if it's not, Mr Chairman. Well, I'm prepared to cut you a deal, uh, <laughs> which is that uh, if you reserve the 19th of November, I I'll go away and get some names from other political parties to satisfy your requirement. Uh, well, I, I it's an, a very interesting proposition, but it's not one we've taken up with anyone else so far. Uh, we don't know where it will be on. Don't care about men's issues. It's that I'm hoping for parity. 
myself. Here, here. I absolutely care about men's issues. And when I've got parity, and when women in this, this, these buildings have parity, you can have your debate. Oh, Mr. Chairman, can I, if I can just if I can just make the point, and that, that will a, take an the, awfully the, long time. The, 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 I'm not requesting a debate on representation within the House of Commons. I'm asking for debates on men's issues, and, and the list of issues I gave earlier. I would like to think people can recognise are genuine issues, and actually, are very, very rarely debated in the House of Commons. Very rarely debated in the House of Commons. Right. Well, thank you very much. For, thank you very much indeed.